Bihar state is one of India's most populous and impoverished states. It's also the national epicenter for cases of visceral leishmaniasis or Kala Azar, black fever as it's known locally. Kala Azar is spread through the bite of the sandfly. Untreated, it is fatal. The sandfly lives in the dung of cows and other household animals. Here in Bihar, cattle live side by side with their owners who often use the dung to make their homes, increasing the risk of infection. Local people are often unaware of the disease. When they experience symptoms such as high fever, they usually turn to local unqualified medical advisors who are unable to give them the right medicines. Children are particularly vulnerable to the disease. There is effective treatment for the disease available, but many people have needed to travel far from home to access proper care. Treatment closer to home means the medicines getting to work earlier and so less risk of falling really sick. Local health centers are very overburdened. Between 200 and 300 patients visit them each day. MSF is exploring new ways of delivering quality and effective care for Kala Azar at community level, training up midwives, lab technicians or nurses in local clinics to manage much of the treatment of Kala Azar helps to overcome the bottleneck. Providing treatment that can be done rapidly and safely close to home also helps ensure more patients complete treatment and get well. One of the most effective treatments currently available, liposomal amphotericin B ambazone, has to be kept at temperatures below 25 degrees. Innovations like these ice-lined refrigerators installed in local clinics makes it possible to store these medicines safely. Local clinics are also required to provide refrigeration for vaccines at much lower temperatures, 2 to 8 degrees. So, sharing storage facilities at the local level with vaccines could be a way to help push effective treatment out to yet more remote communities. Local staff are trained up to administer ambazone, delivered through an intravenous drip. The drug is usually administered in a single dose and combined with an oral medication taken over seven days. MSF and partners are conducting ongoing studies to establish the best treatment option using ambazone, both at primary healthcare level and also at hospital level. More work is needed, particularly in the area of prevention and spraying, to kill the flies before they can infect people. But if more quality and effective treatment is provided at the local level, many more lives will be saved. And India and other countries in the region will move closer to the goal of eliminating disease by 2020.